Wong Jing is one of my favorite directors. He makes some of the best and worst movies in Hong Kong. The Last Tycoon charts the rise of Chen Daqi, who is loosely based on real-life gangster Du Yuesheng, who is also known as Big Ear Du. He's played alternately by Huang Xiaoming as the younger version, and Chow Yun-fat as the elder incarnation. Big Ear Du essentially ran Shanghai in partnership with Pak Mart Huang Jinrong. That's the grumpiest opium addict I've ever seen. He's the obvious model for Sammo Hung's character. That's the fattest opium addict I've ever seen. In order to make the movie China-friendly, Wong Jing can't call these characters gangsters, though, because there are no gangsters in China, so he has to call them tycoons. In other words, he's not allowed to be too accurate with history. And it's not like he was at risk of doing that anyway. Not only does that give him a lot of protection from criticism, it actually supports and, and even perpetuates China-friendly handling of history in film. That's why the ascendant Chen Daqi can righteously proclaim to everyone in Shanghai that under his rule there will be no drugs, no prostitution, and no gambling in the French concession. Because in real life, Big Ear Du said exactly the same thing, but at the end he said, except mine. You see how that works? Sarfed. But even with the just a tenuous relationship with history and truth, the story is mostly cohesive and like almost all of Wang Jing's films, moves pretty briskly along. This film is not without its share of flaws, both major and minor. But as I know, the beauty of Wang Jing films is that when they inevitably, even briefly, plunge three fathoms below suck, you can just smile because this is part of what Wang Jing does. It's part of who he is. If his films weren't bad, they wouldn't be Wong Jing films. The story doesn't unfold, it just assails you with a nearly non-stop barrage of images, sounds, and events that have all the subtlety and grace of a 19th century epileptic surgeon. Circumcisions! Five yuan! But that's a big part of the fun! Wong shamelessly recycles both Chow Yun-fat and John Woo to a degree that would embarrass Quentin Tarantino. Even so, I have to admit that when I see Chow Yun-fat in a white suit holding a pistol, it makes me kind of nostalgic. Sammo Hung has actually turned out to be a pretty good actor, and uh, he does a commendable job here working with not very much. He spends a disturbing amount of time topless in the film, but it mostly makes narrative sense so I could mostly overlook it. You have the biggest tits in this movie, and you made Dragon Ball Evolution so you can go f*** yourself. Francis M provides a very impressive turn as a Gomentang official whose hands are so deep into crime he needs to wear short sleeve shirts. And he looks great in a uniform, ladies. If anyone can be said to have no reason to be ashamed of their part in this film, it's him. And if you could be in a Wang Jing movie without shame, you're very lucky. Wang Xiaoming plays his role well, and I imagine he had some fun essentially imitating Chow Yun-fat. See? One actor who really did impress me was uh, Gao Hu. It's hard to explain why, except to say that he really sold me on his character. Now if I could just figure out why he reminds me of Gary Oldman. These characters all interact in a violent miasma of crime, nationalism, love, and guns. It's basically an Irish Catholic Christmas movie. As the story moves forward, we get into what seems to be the now requisite segment showing us how evil, <laughs> brutal, <laughs> and evil, Japan was during World War II, and by extension, ever since. But here again, Wong's heavy hand manages to leaven what I would otherwise find an infuriating nod to the Chinese government's nearly obsessive need to demonize Japan. The portrayals and events are so poorly presented, so overacted, and so histrionically overwrought that they're laughable. I really enjoyed The Last Tycoon. It's not a great movie by any stretch, but it's great fun, and that's really all we can reasonably ask of Wong Jing. In this case, at least, we got what we asked for, and we actually got quite a bit more. Watch this movie on DVD. Don't download it! If you enjoyed this review, please let me know. If you disliked it, please let me know, and I'll let you know what I think about your opinion. If you think that my pronunciation stinks, that's fine. Please, subscribe, because I promise these movies are eventually going to make me have a aneurysm, and you'll get to see it first if you're a subscriber.